Hey everybody, Plush Pork here, back with another Jurassic World review. This is the Battle Chompin Carnotaurus in the Epic Attack line. I did play with it a little bit. I wanted to get like a full review so I can actually, like, you know, explore a little bit. And then I review it. I'm going to start doing that from now on for most of the dinosaurs. So all we got to do is fix the feet. Because you gotta un you gotta cut the box. I cut it from the front. Um, whoops. Let's put that aside for just a second. Here's the barcode. For those who want it. Whoops. Did it. Sorry about all the noise. I have no control over any of that. And this. All right. Let's take a look at the box. The box has the red Carnotaurus on it. I really wish this was a demon Carnotaurus. It would have made this so much cooler. Um, the back of the box, it's really cool, eerie, and reddish. Um, I don't know how those, those one, two, three lights work. I'll let you guys tell me in the comments. Alright. Um, I got the Dilophosaurus, and I have the Velociraptor. I don't have much to compare it with. I didn't bring a whole lot. But I do have the Allosaurus, which I'll compare it with you all. I can tell you now that the, the, the tail on this is a lot longer than the other Carnotauruses. And this is definitely the, the biggest out of all of them, which... It's okay if they're a little big, but... Yeah, this whole epic attack line has been much bigger. The Flash won't be on forever, so let's try to enjoy it. Most of this uh, body is is casted in a brick red color. The jaw is casted in a almost a khaki brown. You get this oh, even darker, like scab red, or a, or a brown patterning spots and splotches all over the face. And goes up to here. It's even on. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's on top of the head too. Like that. The orange are painted brown, but there's a scrape on mine. Oops, I hit the... I'll show you that in a second. You got these nice scales. I mean, the, the, most of the sculpt is practically the same. Uh, you got this, the undershading going all the way down to the tail. The tail is completely unpainted, which really bothers me. There goes my flash. Which means I'm on 15%, I think. Yeah, the, the, it, now, it don't look too bad. Um, the arms are casted in the brown, which it, it's a fade. It looks good. I accept that. Um, you got this brown that goes all the way to the tail. It did it again. It goes stop. Damn it. Start, stops at the tail. You got some paint on the legs. The, the hand claws obviously aren't painted. Those are too small. I wouldn't expect them to. But the feet claws are... But the dew claws are not painted very well. So, and then the tail, like I said, has no paint. Um, here's scan code. Alright, let's take a look at the other side. The, the other side's pretty uh, similar to the other side, the first side. Uh, it's got yellow eyes. Uh, let's take a look at the action feature. So, obviously, it's got Chompin in its name. So it's gonna chomp. Fix this a little bit. So there's a button right here on the back of the. Yeah, what is it? The the hip. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Keep keep getting me. It's got some newer sounds to it. Look at it from the other side. Um, the arms have articulation. Uh, the arms might be stiff on yours, or they might completely like, fall off. I'll show that in a second. So the arms can go out and in like that. I'm just worried I'd break it. And they can go forward and backwards. The same thing can go to the other arm. It can go out and in. Uh, they put the speaker on the belly, which is where it's supposed to go. I'm like, 
while the others were on this side. The packies on the other side. So let's take a look at the, the damage. So I know you can push it. It stays on for a second. Sorry. And there's actually two places with damage. And they hid the damage on this really well, in my opinion. Whoops. There you go. If you double tap any of the two three times, like if you hit it fast like this, they both will flash. You can do this to any of the two. It also has a twisting tail feature. It's got the primal attack to it. I don't have any of the other ones to compare it with right now, so I may maybe I'll add something. And then it could also go up and down a little bit. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, my arm's in the way. Maybe I'll do it with like this. And the feet, uh, oh yeah, the, the leg articulation. Both feet move together, which it's. And the feet can rotate, but I'm not going to rotate these feet much. So, or, and also you can do, you know, this just like back then. But the butt, there's no button on the, the tail. It's on the. Alright, wait, whoa, what's 37 minutes? Alright, sorry, Doug. I got, I got Marco up here. I'll check and say hi to Marco. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. You're a good boy, Marco. You okay, Marco? He's alright. Alright, I do have the Allosaurus to compare with. This is the single most best Dominion Dino that they came out with last year. In my opinion, Therizinosaurus. The Giga has its downfalls. They did get the scaling right. If they would have made this black, I would have. I would never leave these two alone. They'd be always off my shelf. But um, yeah. Let's let's do, let's do picture like this. All right. So we got all this. Is, so it kind of works. Allosaurus is mainly scratching. Carnotaurus is biting. So you can come in and... I can't do it. And Allosaurus can scratch. Oh, damn it. This stuff never stays up. Oh. Alright, I do gotta go. Everyone's making a lot of noise. I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube for copyrighted noises. Uh, I hope they remake this Allosaurus mode. It's too good. I mean, it really needs a, a repaint or something. And this Carnotaur should be a demon. It would look so good. Um, alright. I hope you guys enjoy. Also, the demon we got should be that color on that. Alright. Have a great day, night, if it's your birthday, and you're watching this, happy birthday, today is 324.23, it's pretty late at night, I just, I got this about an hour or so ago, might have been a little later than that, but yeah, thank you for watching, like I said, like, subscribe, it's down here, I gotta go, peace.